Hey folks, what's up? Yuri from Anax here. So a couple of weeks ago, the Cypress folks released a new feature called component testing. And right now this works for React and Angular and is super handy because now it allows you to test your components in isolation, but still using Cypress. And we closely collaborated with them to add first class support also in NX. So let's have a look. So in this NX workspace, I right now have a React application, which is this web app. And those that have been using NX in the past know that you will also out of the box get an end to end test generated using Cypress. And this is already pre configured to run and serve a web app and run tests against that web app. But what if you wanted to do the same for like our UI library that lives here in the libs folder? Now we can do that actually by generating a component test setup. And I'm using NX console here. So I can just right click and say NX generate. And then I'm searching for React. And there you will find a Cypress component configuration now. And if you click that, it will have already pre-configured that UI project, but you can also just select that. You should give it a build target. Now Cypress component tests right now require an application configuration such that they can leverage that setup in their component tests. So I can just go up here and choose that web app. So I can give it a web app colon build, which will be our build configuration basically that Cypress component test can then leverage. And I'm also choosing here generate tests because I have already in my UI library that UI component, which I would like to have a test generate for me. Again, as usual down here, you see the dry run of what would be generated and we can just click the run button and get that set up for us. If we now go here, you can see that we got a new Cypress folder in here with a couple of configuration setups. And inside our lips folder, we now also have that UI CY TSC TSX file, which is our Cypress component test that has been set up for us. Now let's go ahead and actually test this. For instance, if I go and choose here these props file and say, I want to pass in here Yuri, because my component right now, which is this UI component, takes here a message, which I can use and that will be displayed here in this H1. I can now go back in my Cypress test. It will be mounted down here. And let me just add here where I grab here the H1 tag and that should then contain welcome to UI Yuri, which should be the right one. Let's double check here, welcome to UI Yuri. So now we can actually run this. I can go directly in here and for instance, go to the project JSON, which will now have an actual target to running those component tests. So you see those component tests down here. And if you have NX console installed, you will automatically get such an inline facility to actually click and just execute those component tests. And this will be now served in headless mode using Electron behind the scenes, but you can see this passes, but we can also run this command manually and do something like run NX run UI component test dash dash watch, which would run the Cypress watch mode. So in watch mode, this then opens up the Cypress UI. I can actually choose a browser I want to run my component tests in. This opens then up here the UI from Cypress where I see already my component test here being visualized, which is our UICI.tsx file. And if I then click on that file, I see my single component being mounted and run against that test in my browser window here from Cypress. So I can still see all the various facilities that I usually have with my Cypress test, but nicely isolated for testing just a single component. So while we did run this in an NX plus React workspace, this works exactly the same in your Angular NX setup. So definitely try it out. Hope this was helpful and see you in the next one.